functions of the cell membrane. Cell membrane has uh, different functions. Uh, maintaining of the structural integrity of the cell. Regulation of cellular interaction. What does it mean? Um, regulation of the of cellular interaction possible by formation of uh, intercellular junction. It's mean formation of the relations between neighboring cells. A recognition of antigens and foreign cells. It's a, generally a receptor function. Um, interaction between the cytoplasm and external environment, for example, by transportation of different substances. Um, movement of cell uh, by formation of cilia, flagella, uh, transport of substances into and from the cell. Let's start from the last function, transport of substances into and from the cell. Uh, transport of substances can be divided in different, uh, different types, um, depend on different reasons. For example, depend on the using of energy. If the transport uh, use energy, if self for transportation of different substances use energy, such type transport, um, called uh, uh, active transport. If transport doesn't use energy for transportation of substances from the cells or from outside to the cells, such type transport called uh, we can call passive transport. Next type of classification of transport it depends on the direction of movement of substances. If cell if cell push substances from the cell to the to outside, such type transport is named exocytosis. And if substances come into the cell from outside, such type transport is named endocytosis. Uh, depending on the quality of substances, endocytosis can be classified to phagocytosis and pinocytosis. Phagocytosis. Uh, during phagocytosis, cells engulf solid particles. Uh, as a name of such type transport, it is cell eating. It's um, like cell eat something, engulf something. So, solid particles come from outside into the cell. And Pinocytosis or cell drinking is a transportation of fluid from outside into the cell. And the, what about type of exocytosis? Let me explain you some type of exocytosis. Um, what, the, um, what do you think about we are from can cell get substances? With uh, it um, sends outside, so cell must um, push substances from the cell to outside. Therefrom, cell get it, get it. Uh, it can produces. So in this case, when cell produces something and and uh, pass outside, such type exocytosis is named secretion. Which type of cells? Which type of cells has the, mm, this type of transportation of substances? For example, exocrine cells. All of exocrine cells in the human body has this type transport. They produce something and pass outside, or to two spaces, or to surfaces of the cell body. Next example is a transcytosis. Transcytosis 
is a type of exocytosis when a, a substance comes into the cell from one hand, pass through the cytoplasm without any changes and leave the cell from other side. Mm, what about example? For example, follicular cells of uh, follicles of the thyroid glands. Some type substances come into the cell from the lower uh, part of the cell membrane from underlying connective tissue which contain blood vessels and leave the cell uh, through the apical surface without any changes. Transcytosis. Next example, clasmatose. Clasmatosis type of uh, exocytosis when cell um, push from the cytoplasm part of the cell, like uh, a nucleus or organelles. Um, example, it's a, for example, it's a differentiation of erythrocytes. The urine uh, differentiation during formation, erythrocytes pass some steps of development. And during this differentiation, erythrocytes lose nucleus and organelles. And finally, we get, as a result of plasmatosis, um, special type structures which we cannot call some because they don't uh, doesn't as uh, they don't contain nucleus and organelles. If you remember, mm, cell it's a structure which is composed by cell membrane, cytoplasm, and then nucleus. If a structure doesn't contain one of these components, we cannot call it cell. So, um, finally, as a result of plasmatose, we get post cellular structures.